So we're going to talk right now about the remainder theorem. And don't be hung up on what it officially means, because I'm going to show you an example in a second. But it says that if I have a polynomial f of x, and I divide that polynomial by a factor x minus c, then the remainder becomes the function evaluated at c. Okay, so if I have a factor here, uh, x minus c, and I basically plug in c into the function, then that gives me the, that's the function evaluated at c. Okay, now what does that mean? Let me show you an example over here. We are going to use synthetic division and this remainder theorem to evaluate my function at 4. So here's the function that we're looking at, and I want to know what is f of 4. I hope that you recognize that if I'm evaluating a function, typically I could replace x with 4 and find out, simplify that, and it would tell that's evaluating the function at 4. But this is just another way for us to be able to do it. And if I apply the remainder theorem, it says that if I am basically dividing my function by x minus 4, and that's going to uh, evaluate, that's going to give me the, the um, it's going to evaluate the function at 4. Now we're going to do this using synthetic division. And since I already wrote this as my polynomial divided by x minus 4, remember when I do synthetic division, I'm just going to bring that 4 out as the opposite sign of what I had written it right here. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to do coefficients only of these terms. So the first term is 2 minus 11 plus 7 minus 5, okay? And there is my setup. I'm going to bring my 2 down and I'm ready to begin. Remember we multiply and add. So 4 times 2 is 8 and we add straight down and get negative 3. 4 times a negative 3 is a negative 12. Add straight down I get negative 5. 4 times a negative 5 is a negative 20, add straight down, and I get negative 25. Now, remember, we said also that this is the remainder, okay? And what the remainder theorem says is that the remainder of my function, or the remainder that I get when I divide, I should say, is the function evaluated at c. So to sum that up, it says that when I did the division here of x minus 4, I found that I evaluated the function at 4, and that's equal to negative 25. So synthetic division and the remainder theorem will allows me to evaluate the function at a particular value, and the remainder, this guy, the remainder that we found is the function evaluated at 4 gives me negative 25. In other words, if you go back in, like I said, and you replace x with 4, you're going to get negative 25. And that's how we apply the remainder theorem.